want you to be with me as we understand writing directions using the signal words. Are you excited? Let's get started! Do you have a talent? Well, a talent is defined as a natural ability to be good at something. Just like singing, dancing, acting, painting, and storytelling, and many more. If you have these abilities, it's better that we practice them. If you have a certain talent, there are steps that you need to follow for you to perform it well, just like this song. I love to sing, first I don't shout, next I breathe in, from my nose, from my mouth, then I just drink, warm glass of water. If 
your answer is the words are signal or sequence words. You are correct. This time, if you're following this lesson with your quarter three, English 4, module number 4, go to page 6. Let's read the paragraph given under what is it. Are you ready? Okay. First, prepare two cups of rice. Next, put the rice in a pot and wash once without rubbing the grains. Then, add two cups of water. Finally, cover the pot. Place it over the fire until it boils and cook. What have you observed with the underlined words? Well, they introduce steps. What else? They are signal words. What else? The words are also called sequence words. My dear learners, signal words introduce the steps in a process or a sequence of events. Before we proceed to page 7, let's sing this song for us to recall the right sequence of signal words. Are you ready? Okay. on the label. This is how she interpreted the directions. Blank, shake the bottle. Blank, pour the lotion into the palm. Blank, apply it on your arms, legs, and other parts of your body. Blank, seal the bottle and keep it in a dry, cool place. Recalling our song earlier, if your answer is first, you got it right. What about the second blank? If your answer is finally, 
Amazing! Your answer is correct. Read with me the paragraph. First, shake the bottle. Next, pour the lotion into the palm. Then, apply it into your arms, legs, and other parts of your body. Finally, seal the bottle and keep it in a dry, cool place. Great job, learners! This time, let's try this activity from education.com. Oh no! Birdie took Kathy Cat's book. Help me put back the pictures in the order that they happened in the story. I'm going to recite the summary of the story, The Little Red Hen. Let's move the pictures in the box where it belongs. Are you ready? First, a hen living on a farm finds some wheat and decides to make a bread with it. She asks the other farmyard animals to help her plant it, but they refuse. Which among the pictures do you think shows the first part? If your answer is the second picture, you got it right! Next, the hen then harvests and meals the wheat into flour before baking it into bread. But the other animals refuse to help. Which among the pictures do you think shows the second part? If your answer is the first picture, you got a point. Then, with her task complete, the hen asks who will help her eat the bread? Which among the pictures do you think shows the third part? If your answer is the fourth picture, super duper, you gotta check! Finally, the animals accept eagerly but the hen refuses them stating that no one helped her with her work and decides to eat the bread herself. Let's choose the only picture left below. Awesome! You've helped me put back the book together. This time, let's go back to our module and let's answer together what I have learned found on page 8. What word do you think we should place on the first blank? If your answer is first, you got it right. What about the second blank? If your answer is next, you got a point. What about the third blank? If your answer is then, super duper, you got a check. And so, what do you think is the answer in the fourth blank? If your answer is lastly, amazing! Your answer is correct! Let's now read the directions. First, shake the bottle well before using. Next, take one teaspoonful three times a day before meal. Then, store the bottle in a cool, dry place. Lastly, if the pain persists, call the doctor. All right! It's your turn to show me if you understood our lesson. For those who have their modules with them, open it on page 10 and answer post-assessment letter A. Arrange the steps in cooking hot cake using the signal words first, next, then, finally.
Time is up! Let's reveal the correct answers. First, mix all the ingredients in a bowl. Next, preheat a pan with a little amount of oil. Then, put the mixture in a pan and cook for 30 seconds. Use a turner to flip for other side and cook for 30 seconds. Finally, serve the hot cake with butter and sugar on top. I hope your answers are the same as mine. And that is our lesson for today. I hope you will always keep in mind the signal words first, next, then, and finally. Again, this is Teacher Ain. See you soon!